Hey hear the other radio hey y'all, I wanted to come on really quick and show y'all um my daughter's hair, what I did yesterday. I was really close to putting another perm in her hair, but I'm trying to stretch it out as long as I can. And her hair was just like a big lion's mane. I taught her how to um, wash and blow dry her own hair. No, no, of course, when you blow dry your hair. Just to give you guys some tips really quick, I always use a, a big paddle brush like this. So, um, what I did was on the sides here. All the way back, I braided her hair on both sides. I'm trying to cover her face up because, um, yeah. Braid her hair all the way up into like the middle part of her head. And of course, all of this part here, the middle, I left out. And once I got through braiding, well, when I was braiding her hair, I added some of this motion. Shine. This is some really good stuff. This is some really good stuff. I got this from Walmart. I added this on um, on her hair while I was braiding it to lay the edges down and to you know keep her hair moisture moisturizing condition while it's up in the braids. Then I flat iron this part. When you when I flat iron her hair, or either, or, or either when she blow dry it, I always add a little of this in it from Walmart. Also, this is really really good stuff. So, all I did was, um, really quick tip also, make sure you have the same amount of braids on each side. It really does matter because I'm, you know, I like everything to be, you know, perfect and then on point. So, you know, I, uh, what I'm trying to say, you know, you can do a part down the middle, then I started braiding this side, then I braided this side and I count each braids to make sure they match. Then I did the back. Then I did this side, making sure the braids are equal on each side. So once I flat iron the middle of her hair, and I'm I'm recording this on my iPod again because on the last video the quality was so good and you know it's easier to upload when, when you don't have to really edit. So once I flat iron the middle part, I put these little flexi rollers in it. And I got this from like a, uh, my local beauty supply store. They have the long ones and they have the little short ones. So this is just an idea, you know, like I said, to, to keep your little divas, you know, keep them ready also. She really hate getting braids for the summer. She really, really cries and I always say they're too tight, but you know, she's going to get some eventually because I can't do hair. I can do her hair because um, I'm just not getting up to, uh, to walk. Yeah, I couldn't walk at all yesterday after I got through with all this braiding and flat iron. I really honestly couldn't walk. So I just took all of the curls out and I just wanted to show you guys, you know, like I said again, a quick idea what you can do for your diva. Um, she likes mohawks, so I think this is a really age-appropriate mohawk for, you know, for a preteen, a little girl or whatever. So I'm just going to finger comb it. I'm not going to put any more oil in it. I already have enough in there from yesterday. So I'm just going to just finger comb it. Looking good already, girl. Yeah, yeah. I really wanted to record it yesterday. But something kept telling me, no, don't record. You know, because I, you know, I don't believe in showing your kids and stuff on the videos but I really wanted to show you guys how I did this but I, that's why I was trying to explain it but something kept telling me no don't record don't record of course I was going to you know hide her face and everything but tell me why as soon as I got through with her hair and sat down got on Facebook I was reading um Philly Diva comment somebody had made a comment about her damn daughter and I'm like see there that's why something was telling me no don't record don't record that is some Lauren that's some bullshit you don't Mess with no damn child. Somebody made a comment about that poor little baby. Y'all, anyway, that's another video. But that was some straight up bullshit. Bullshit. I'm getting ready for the gym, y'all. So, who y'all? Hope I didn't see y'all didn't see them. But yeah, anyway, I just want to, like I say, this is gonna help somebody. So that's why I decided to come on this morning really quick to show you guys how you know how I did her hair. And of course, I'm gonna tie this up every night. So. With, you know, with 
This should last a week for sure, maybe two, depends on how she sleeps. So, here's my question. so I don't have to, because I, I can't comb her hair every day. It's, it's too painful for me. So, she got some curls, the side, on your face. She got the braids on the side. And it is, I, I hope you guys can see that. It's, it really looks good. Lean back. Turn up, turn up the other side. Show the front. Yeah. She ready, y'all. Yeah. So I just wanted to, like I said, come in and show this really quick. Somebody, if I help one person say, oh my God, you gave me a good idea to do my daughter's hair. Thank you. This is a good weekend style. This is a good style for the whole week. Like I say, maybe a week and a half. But yeah, I'll, yeah like I said, don't forget to use some kind of pomade or whatever when you're braiding her hair you know you don't want to use gel i don't like to use gel in her hair so this is really 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 good to hold on her edges and stuff and to make it you know braid easier and it's still shiny her braids from that stuff her braids is real shiny and healthy so yeah y'all Alright, y'all, let me get ready for the gym. And I'll be back later on with the haul. I'll holler.